So if you just take out the side panel of your system like I've done here, you just want to make sure the system's off. Just discharge your static electricity by touching the metal on the inside of the case here. Once you've done that, all you have to do is just identify either your CD-ROM, DVD, Blu-ray, or another hard drive. Um, in this specific case, you'll see I have the DVD drive up here, and it has a SATA data cable and a SATA power cable. And you can just temporarily unhook those and hook in your new SSD there. And you can actually just set it right here with the cables plugged into it. There's a little spot for it here. Alternatively, you can just borrow, like there's only one hard drive in this system, and this is this little SSD here, but you could also just um, open up the other side panel and access those SATA cables and then borrow those, but since it's actually the C drive, you don't want to borrow its cables, so in this case, we'll borrow the optical drive's cables. So you just plug your SSD into here, and then you boot up your system, and once your system's on, you just run the Samsung Data Migration Utility. So there's a link down below of how to uh, do that. And then once you're all done, you just plug these cables back in, and then you just uh, remove your C drive, and then plug your new drive into its place. And that's it. You boot up, and everything should be go good to go. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact Puget Systems Support.